everyone. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. I just wanted to share a quick little story with you guys today. Um, just to let you guys know that the journey of awakening, um, although it can be a challenging <clears throat> process at times, you know, as we are um, detoxifying um, old energies per se, letting go of the old man, there are also moments of you know, joy and bliss and um, cute moments too. So I am now in a state where a lot of the detoxification process, a lot of letting go of the old man, the old self has, I've done a lot of work in that aspect. So more often now I am in a true state of peacefulness and bliss and pure awareness, right? Um, I do have moments where I will feel a little bit more dense, a little heavier. It doesn't happen as often, but when I feel those, I know that it is just a transitional moment, a moment for me to observe the feeling I'm experiencing or the thoughts that are coming through and to observe and understand that they are they are just there to show me something and then I'm able to move past that. So again, it still does happen, but in today's video, I want to share a cute little uh, thing that I encountered. So I did a previous video on a Reiki section that I had. And the one thing I didn't mention in that video is the practitioner told me, she asked me, she, she or she told me, she said, you're going through a spiritual detoxification right now. And she asked if I had ever gone through a divorce. I didn't mention anything to her about previously being married or even uh, anything to do with being involved with anybody. Currently, you know, my SP, uh, anything like that so I told her I said yeah I've been through a divorce but you know that was a long time ago and she said you are you're currently with your soulmate your twin flame are you familiar with that I said yeah I'm familiar with it but you know I don't it's not something that really the idea of like twin flames and soulmates and stuff doesn't fully resonate with me from the point of view that so many people talk about it. So she said, um, you know, look it up. It's like, okay. Now, real quick, from my level of understanding, as when we incarnate on earth as divine beings, okay, when we chose to incarnate on earth and have this experience, we, many of us have um, agreed with other divine beings to have an experience together here, you know, in this human body uh, here on earth, which is in and of itself is, uh, a consciousness so from that aspect I believe in what many I think would refer to as twin flames or soulmates you know you have basically have um, before you incarnated on earth as a divine um, as a divine being um, 
part of the Elohim, right? We, we chose, you know, to have certain experiences with certain people. We entered into those agreements before we incarnated here on earth. And from that aspect, I believe in soulmates and twin flames. It's not the way that a lot of people describe uh, soulmates and twin flames. I think there's a lot of confusion out there about it. And I can't fully speak on the subject because I don't have enough information or experience to really speak on it. But what, what I thought was what happened this morning was kind of cute. So a couple days ago, uh, you know, I had this Reiki session. Uh, it'll be probably, I think by the time this video goes up, it, a couple of months will have passed because it's December 24th or October 24th. Now I think I'm scheduled out with videos. So I think this will probably go up in, in December, but anyway, uh, what this morning so I had to actually really I had I mean she told me that and I hadn't really looked into soulmates or twin flames or whatever I know that I have a very I have that I have felt the strong connection with um you know with someone over the past six years and I'm not going to go into that I'm very protective of of uh that situation, my feelings, etc., because it's so beautiful to me, uh, even with the challenges and things that I've experienced, it's just a beautiful process to me. So anyway, this morning I made breakfast and I cracked three eggs. The third egg had two tiny little yolks in it that were uh that were joined together and immediately like i cracked the egg and i looked down in the bowl and i saw these two little two little baby yolks stuck together and my first thought was yep <laughs> literally it was just like yep i love awareness i absolutely love this beautiful journey, this beautiful process. So many people would think of anything of it proper, you know, probably, or just think, oh, it's, it's just two yokes. Well, yeah, it's two yokes, but, um, from the aspect of awareness and manifestation, um, it was just, and again, I don't look for signs and I don't necessarily see that as being a sign, it was just an, uh, it was just interesting and it was cute from the perspective of awareness and having, you know, just a day or two ago, having a Reiki experience where, you know, somebody who knew nothing about my personal life, you know, mentioned soulmates and twin flames and here I break this egg this morning and there's these two little baby yolks uh, combined together so when you get to the point if you are not already there of having an acute level of awareness you'll start to notice things that will have that will be meaningful to you right and some of those things will be fun or they'll be cute and make you smile and laugh and you'll just know it's just it's uh, it's just it's a manifestation of a thought it is perhaps it is a sign uh but it, it the things will show you also what you are doing internally so anyway I just wanted to share that with you guys it just it made me smile this morning filled me with joy because I just thought it was the cutest the cutest thing seeing these two little yolks stuck together um, and being able to correlate that with 
the experience that I had yesterday in the Reiki session, uh, or what, two days ago in the Reiki session, um, and the words that were spoken to me. So, and again, everything is a reflection. So the Reiki practitioner did not tell me anything that I was not already intuitively aware of. Now, sometimes uh, I'll encounter a teaching somebody or I'll an experience or have a conversation and something will come into my awareness that I may not be consciously aware of having of doing that internally, you know, whatever's reflected back to me. But yesterday I, w I was very well aware. So anyway, all right. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.